G'day friends and welcome to our November free online class for the month. It's Vicki Rye, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator Australia. I'm just going to try and sort all this out so that we're in camera and we're nice and straight hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, I always get this mixed up. That's worse, isn't it? Yep, way worse. <laughs> I will get this right one day. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so today we're going to be playing with the fun sending cheers stamp set along with the sending cheer um, dies okay the cards again are pretty simple and easy to recreate but um, they're ones that um, showcase this bundle along with the um, the new pattern no, with the papers a walk in the forest papers just let me get the catalog I had to think there for a minute um, my mind went a little bit blank panic mode so that's the papers right at the beginning. So these are what we're going to be playing with, okay? Now there is a bit of a, um, uh, what can I say? Something, no, um, how can I say this? There is a little bit of a, um, not theme, but I'm trying to think of what to say. Um, I catch, I suppose you could say to the cards, but um, I'll see if you can pick up on that. So this is our first card we're going to be creating. As I said, it's a very simple, easy card and one that um, you can chop and change to suit your occasion and it will look different each time. So our base card is Pretty Peacock. We've got a couple of pieces of basic white and then we've got a couple of pieces of the DSP, Walk in the Forest. Now I've already die cut our bows. One is Pretty Peacock, one is Garden Green. And we've got a couple of scraps of paper or cardstock. Okay. So now with this class, spend um, $55 in my shop, online store, or you can always reach out to me and I'll place the order for you before the, um, the 15th of, of, should be November, not um, October. Um, and you'll receive the pack of... Um, Tencel Gems 4 pack. Now I thought I had them. Just bear with me. Sometimes you think you have them with everything. That's it there. 4 pack. You've got, um, I think that's Garden Green. Pretty Peacock. Hmm. Now, that is really thinking outside the box, isn't it? Um, yeah. Okay. Pretty peacock. Garden. Pretty peacock. Blueberry bushel. Um, what's the? Berry burst and lemon lime twist. I always forget those colours. I'm going to have to write it on the back. I think. So this is pretty peacock, blueberry bushel. 
fresh fresh should do this with a berry burst and lemon lime twist okay okay so that's what you'll get if you spend over 55 dollars okay we'll put those aside for the moment and we'll crack on with our card So what we're going to do first up is adhere this piece to our piece of um, balmy blue. I just put a little bit of glue along the top. You don't have to put a lot. And I just Stick that down there so that a small edge of balmy blue is showing along the top. Now you could have um, run this piece, the balmy blue piece, through um, the stamp and cut emboss machine using um, any bordered dies. For example, the um, basic borders, you could have used them, or you could have even had um, ribbon. Okay, so then we're going to grab a piece of basic white. Now, when you receive the kids, um, you'll get two of each card. So you'll get three designs. You'll also get the PDF tutorial. Um, and the PDF tutorial is available or well has the measurements for metric and imperial i work in both so i give both and that's all we're going to do okay then we'll bring in our base card and we'll stick this piece to our pretty peacock base card. Just like that. And while we're sticking down, we'll do our inside and we'll do our envelope too, eh? So all we're gonna do is, I might use this piece. And we're just going to stick this piece. I've just used scraps. Now, if you don't have um, scraps of DSP, you could always stamp um, the inside of your card, or you can always leave it blank. It's entirely up to you. Okay. So then we're just going to glue this down on our inside just like this this stamp set's great for kids actually well not even just kids anyone but I've tried to aim this set for kids and I've sort of tried to do them for um both boys and girls. So all we're going to do is just stick this piece smack bang in the middle on the side of the envelope. Just like that. Okay. Then we're going to do a little bit of stamping. So first up, we'll grab our foam mat and we're going to stamp two presents. We're going to do these here. Okay. And we're going to do one in balmy blue. Move that out of the way so you can see. Eh? So we'll do one in balmy blue. Just want to make sure I get a good image, that's all. I 
I always use the foam mat when um, I'm using the photopolymer stamp sets. I tend to get um, I tend to get a better image, and we're going to clean this one off just with our simply um, our simply shimmy. And then we're going to do our next one in old olive. So all I've done is I've just grabbed some scrap of um, basic white that was sitting with um, my cardstock. So that's done. Just clean this. We'll clean our stamp as we go. If I don't clean these photopolymer ones as I go, I seem to get ink everywhere. So we'll put that aside. Put that out of sight. And you now you could use the um, the die to die cut this out, which is here and just put that over there and you will get the big bow at the top but what you could do is just always um, trim that off or leave it on and just stick that over the top of it okay but in this instance I'm just going to fussy cut around the images they're pretty easy I always leave a white border. You don't have to if you don't want to. Put that just in case. Balmy blue and old olive and garden green are two of the colours that go with this DSP and I've just taken my colours from the DSP then what we're going to do is grab our pre-cut bows which is this one here okay that that one there and I'm just going to apply a little bit of glue you could use fine tip glue if you wanted to, or even um, probably mini glue dots. But I'm just going to do a little bit like that. And I'm just going to pop this over where those white marks are. And that is one done. Okay. And then we're going to do the same for our pretty peacock bow. You could have had your bows the same colour. You could have made them um, glittery by using the um, even the shimmer paper. And we're just going to do that. And just press it down gently. Then what we're going to do is grab some Stampin' Dimensionals. Whoops. And we'll put one on either side. Oh. Just like that. Not going to worry about the, the top of the bow. And then just put a little bit of glue on there. And then all you're going to do is rearrange and adhere these down along the top. Along the top here. You could put them anywhere you wanted to if you wish. But I'm just going to put them here. 
okay. Then we'll stamp our sentiment. Now, what did I do with my phone, Matt? I don't know how things disappear when we're doing, here it is, videos or lives or whatever, but they seem to disappear all the time. So I've got on mine here, the original one, sending cheers. So what I'm thinking is, um, let's put for you, eh? Just for something different. on the subject so we're just going to tap 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 our image our, our sentiment and stamp making sure it's nice and straight now I will clean that in a minute then I've got the um, the XOXO or just XO and I thought we might do a couple of those we'll do two eh? and we'll just do them side by side just like that and we'll still keep with the pretty peacock um, in the pattern and then we're going to bring in our shimmy Just going to chop these back now. One, two. You could could shape them if you wanted to. You could probably even um, grab a, sh a sh die shape and cut them into that shape. But I'm just going to leave them like that. And then what we're going to do is put. Um, dimensional on the back. I'll just use the ends I think. So we'll put one there. We'll grab this one. Might be too long. Just a fraction too long, so we'll just tiddly that up there. Okay. Bring in our card and we'll put that there, just like that, and we'll put that there, just like that. Same, same, but different. Then we'll bring in our tinsel, tinsel for gems. Now, as I said, I've used blueberry bushel on these, but I think we might use pretty peacock on these, eh? So all we've done is put them one there, one large one there, two, and three. I've just put them in a straight line and then once I'm happy that they're straight I will press down them. Okay so that is our first card. If you didn't want your gems in a straight line you can always scatter them around your card. Okay so that's our first card. That's the original and this is the one we've just done. Easy peasy and one you can recreate in a matter of probably 20 minutes. So they're done. Then we'll bring in our second one. Again, I have pre-done some stuff. I'll just grab... Um, 
piece of twine. We need our twine and we need our ribbon. Okay. Okie dokie. So, again, this is pretty peacock base card. You notice the same thing, the theme. All the base cards this this time round um, are pretty peacock. And I've also done all the cards so, so that they're all the balmy blue side. You'll see them all together um, shortly once they're all done. So what we'll do is we'll stick our pieces down first. Get them out of the way. I just wanted to do the same base card so that um, just shows that you don't have to have a lot of stuff to create pretty cards, I suppose, or even to craft. So we're just going to stick that on our envelope and just trim off the bottom. And we're going to stick this onto a piece of basic white. Just like that. Trim off the excess. And we'll stick this into our card, eh? I feel like I'm chopping you off. Maybe that's too. Try that. And this is going on the inside and it's a landscape, so we've got to make sure we're going the right way. Okay, so that's done. Then what we're going to do, so there's our card there. I love this um, cap or hat. So again, we've grabbed a piece of the DSP. You could use that side if you wanted to. That side would work perfectly. And I've grabbed another piece, I mean, a piece of Pretty Peacock. And the same thing as our first card, we're just going to stick the piece to the Pretty Peacock. Again, you could use ribbon or you could die cut a border. I'm just using, um, I just had scraps there, so I'll just use that. I often do. I just think it finishes it off a little, a little. Then what we're going to do is stick this piece to the left side of our layer of basic white. I feel like I shouldn't be sticking it the other side because the card's upside, the DSP on the opposite side's upside down, but that's just me. Now, we're gonna um, emboss this with the snowflake 3D embossing folder. So just bear with me while I do that. I um, I have a wonky table and it wibble wobble. Oops, sorry. So um, I've just got to do it from the distance. So just bear with me. And 
that is our embossing folder. So it's got the, um, I think it's snow. Let's have a look, eh? So we don't have any more information. Snow. Star. Snowflake Sky, that's what it's called. So that's it there. It's got um, little little um, snowflake, I mean, um, the baubles on it. And then it has the little snowflakes coming through with the stars. It's pretty folder actually. So we've done that. We've embossed the whole lot. Then we're going to stick this to our base card. When I've been using, um, doing embossing folders, I like to put a little bit more glue on the back than I would normally use. It's just to make sure that it sticks nicely. Could always use um, tear and tape adhesive or the stamp and seal plus, and that way you know that it's going to stick down. Okay, so that's done. Now. This tape is from the same set of dies. That's it there. I've already pre-done that from Basic White. The cap is this one here. And I've used this one here for the top, the bottom of the cap. And then you've got your little, oh, I don't know what they're called, little thing off the tip of the cap. Okay, and what I did then was I actually grabbed the same die, sorry, the same um, embossing folder and I've just embossed both the cap and the end of the cap. I don't know what you'd call it. Tassel? No, it's not a tassel. And then we'll just put a little bit of glue there. You can use your um, um, stamp and seal, not stamp and seal, mini glue dots if you wanted to, but I've just added a little bit of glue. And we'll put that just there. Just hold it a little bit so that you know that it's going to stick down, honey. Then, with this little um, hole, instead of covering it up, I decided to put a piece of ribbon through it, eh? And we're going to use the Real Red from um, the Real Red and Burlip ribbon combo or pack. So we're just going to chop a little bit off, thread it through. Whoops, just like that. Then we're going to grab a piece of white twine from the Baker's Twine Essential Pack. And we're going to tie a knot. And just bear with me. When I do things like this, I seem to be all thumbs. you get your knot tied. You can do a double knot if you wanted to. Actually you might even do that but I'm just gonna <laughs> sometimes it's frustrating watching people do things you want to sort of Show them how to do it. So I'm just going to do a double knot there. Okay, then we're going to tie a small bow. Double knot, I know it's not going to come out then. 
And all you're going to do now is just play around until you're happy. See, that's not, that's not real tight. Can I get it out? I might have to get another piece. Let's get another piece, eh? Instead of playing with that. Let's tie a knot. I told you I'm always thumbs when I do things like this. Whoops. <laughs> Some people are very, very good. with that. And then we'll just play around until you're happy with the size of your bow and that your bow is not going to come undone. Okay? And then all we're going to do Is trim off the ends okay then what what I did then was I just grabbed a little bit of glue you could um, you could again use a mini glue dot and I didn't want my cap to move around too much so I've put a little bit of glue at the back and I'm just going to position the cap where I want it on a slight angle And we're going to stamp, so we're going to go on a, on a um, angle and we're going to um, stamp our centimetre, eh? And again we're using um, Pretty Peacock. All our sentiments... Um, In, the, in our cards today, um, a, um, a pretty peacock. Okay, and we're just going to stamp that so that it's nice, well, nice and straight but on an angle. Like that. And we'll just clean. And then all we're going to do now is put a couple of dimensionals on the back and pick it up. So again, it's a really easy card. One that's got um, lots of potential. Oh, I've done it again. Bring in our card. I like the pop of red actually on the on showing on the card. I think it pops it too. And then we're going to trim our ribbon, eh? Just like that. And to finish it off, we'll bring in our um, gems again. And once again. I'm going to use the pretty peacock ones instead of the blueberry bushel. Like the blueberry bushel looks great, but just to give it a little bit of a different look. And I'm going to use, put them in the same spot. And I might put that, just make bang in the middle. 
And that's that card done. Again, as I said, easy peasy ones. I'm a very easy card maker, but I do love layers. Okay, so that's our original. And that's this one, the one we've just done. So we'll just put that aside. And we'll bring in our third card. And this is the card we're going to be creating. Okay. So again, I've done um, a little bit of pre-stamping and die cutting. So we'll put all this aside for the moment. And this is our base card. So we're just going to Fold that in half, burnish it along the top so it's nice and crisp. Now this one opens like that, okay? So what we're going to do is chop from the bottom. And I think I've chopped. Now you can chop as much as you like off. It's up to you. Um, you can make it longer, you can make it shorter. So I've just chopped um, three and a half. Okay. Now don't throw this piece away because we're going to use it. So. I just want to make sure... With me. I'm not having a good day somehow. <laughs> so now this piece, you could use this side, but we're going to use this side, and it goes on to a piece of basic white, and then we're going to stick it onto the top of our card like that. Okay. And again, we're using the uh, Barmy blue side. So we do have a bit of a theme going. Oops, that was lucky. Just like that. So that it's nice and straight. Now we're going to put glue on the back of it again. And we're just going to put this at the top of our card. Just so it's nice and even around all the sides. Just like that. While we're here, we'll do our inside. Now, I'm not going to worry too much about um, decorating the inside because I don't think it needs it. But you're quite welcome to if you wanted to. If I was going to do it, I'd probably put a piece of DSP along the top or stamp along the top and then they'd get a nice surprise when they opened it. So this piece now is for our panel. Okay. Now I've already pre-cut the panel, but to pre-cut your panel, pre-cut your panel, use the piece that you chopped off from the bottom of your card. Don't waste it, okay? So all we're going to do is stamp our sentiment. And we're going to put um, no pink in it. I just think it suits the stocking. Um, and we're going to do that in Pretty Peacock again. So as I said, all our sentiments, greetings, are all done in pre-peacock.
and I'm just going to eyeball this. Hoping that's straight. Yep, this straight. Close this up. Me being me, I've ended up with ink everywhere. Clean out stamp. I don't need that. And we're just going to stick this piece to the piece of pretty peacock. Now don't forget, spend $55 in my online store or contact me before the 15th of November and you'll receive the card kits. Spend over $55 and you'll get the pack of gems. Okie dokie. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to eyeball this. So all we're doing is sticking this panel to the top part of our card front. Just like that. So if you didn't want to eyeball it, you could do it this way, right? And then mark it with a pencil either side. And that way you would know how far to put your adhesive down. But in this case, I'm just gonna eyeball it. You gotta remember when you're putting your glue down and sticking it on, not to go past this line here. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to open your card. Okay. I'm just pressing on that so that I know it's gonna stick nicely. Then we're gonna grab our stocking. Now I've already done that in um, Barney Blue and then I've die cut it out with the stocking die. The leaves or the holly I've stamped with garden green and I've cut it out with the dye and then the tops of the stocking and the heel and the toe which isn't here. Hmm, that's a bit strange but they've been done with the dyes here as well. Okie dokie. Now I don't know where my um here it is, wandering off by itself. So what we'll do now is we'll stick the top of our stocking down. And all we're going to do is put a little bit of glue along the top. Just like that. Making sure you don't see the top of it. Now I've chopped off the top of this um, loop, but this time round I think we're going to leave it on. You could put a little bit of ribbon through that too if you wanted to. Then we're going to do our toe. I'll just put a little bit along there. And we're going to stick that down like that. I think it just finishes it off. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but I think it just finishes it off nicely. And you always see stocking, Christmas stockings with toe and heels inserts anyhow. And then we're going to stick this down. I had a lot of trouble sticking this down yesterday, or the other day. And I was doing the original card, so I don't know why, but that went on okay. So that's our stocking. Then we're going to put our holly and the berries. Um, what am I looking for? Dimensionals. We're popping this up. And I'm just going to put one smack bang in the middle. And we'll put that right there. Now we'll do our little berries and we'll use a mini hay on this. It's a brand new pack, yahoo! Probably 
if you don't even need that actually. You could just stick it on. Yeah, I think we might just stick that on. So let's take our brand new, our brand new mini off. <laughs> and we'll just stick that on. Just add a little bit of glue. Um, you could also put um, a couple of dimension, dimen not dimensionals, um, rhinestones here. Colour them with um, um, a real red blender, and then um, stick three on there like that. So that's our stocking done. And again, we're going to pop this up. One there, there, and one there. I think that's enough, eh? Bring in our card. If you were going to put ribbon or twine through here, I'd put it through before you stick it on. It would make it so much easier for you. And we're going to stick that just on a slight angle. Now, another thought I had too was um, you could emboss this piece of basic white with the um, exposed brick. Um, Cut this out, stamp your sentiment and die cut it out or punch it out and have your stocking um, like it was hanging from a brick wall. Okay. And to finish that off, we'll bring in our gems again. And once again, I'm going to use the pretty peacock ones. And we're going to use the small ones. I think the small ones now I don't know why but I've got to have mine upside down it's weird I know and just put them in a straight line once you're happy with them just press down. If you didn't want them in a straight line like that, you could always scatter them around your card. Okay, and I've got a piece of scrap DSP here. I haven't done my other envelope, so I'll do that later. Just to finish it off, we'll put this on our envelope, eh? And if, oh, it is the same size. Fits perfectly. There you go, and that's our envelope. So that's our card for today. Or, well, our third card. So that was the um, original, and that's the card we've just created. So we'll bring in our cards again. We'll bring in our cards that we've just done. Not the ones that were previously done and that's it there okay so I hope you've enjoyed that I know I've enjoyed creating these this week um, as I said don't forget um, if you want to receive the kit you get two of each all you have to do is place a $50 $5 order in my online store or contact me and I'll do it for you Spend over $55 and you'll get a pack of the Tencel Gems 4-pack. And that's what we've just used here. Okay. So, and that's the current host code that you can use. Um, be sure to use that to receive your, um, your pack of gems. Okie dokie. Well, thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you... December. Scary, scary. 
Okay, thanks for joining me. Enjoy your day. See ya. Hooray.